there! In this video, I'm going to break down 9 different ways that you can make passive income as a producer or music artist. If you don't know what passive income is, it's basically the idea of making money while you sleep. Sounds pretty good, right? Now for each of these ideas, we will talk about 3 main points. How much effort does it take to set up? Exactly how I would go about setting it to start making money? And how much effort it takes to maintain it? Before starting, I think it is important to mention as well that nothing comes easy, nothing comes for free, and it will require a lot of work and effort in the beginning. The idea of passive income is to work beforehand to then get the rewards afterwards and, well, forever. So let's get into it. Passive income idea number one, royalties. Royalties are what streaming platforms or radio stations or any other sources pay you when your music is played or performed. This is the most obvious income source for producers and artists, but these days I hear a lot of people saying that it's not worth it because the paper stream is really low. But I think it is one really worth exploring if you go about it the right way and focus on it. I have this producer friend who is making a full-time income from this and he is far from being super famous. He is just a small bedroom artist like you and I. The way he goes about it, and I think it's very smart, is that he focuses on making music that can go on this huge Spotify playlist that people listen to on repeat while they do something else. And I'm talking about the chill, lo-fi, instrumental type of playlist. So if I want to make most of my money from royalties, I would just get really good about that style of music, produce a lot and release one song per week so that I maximize my chances on getting placed into this playlist and a lot of them. That's what my friend does and it seems to work really really well for him. It would probably take some time to set it up and get really good at it, get used to producing frequently, um, maybe also finding the right playlist, but once you are set up, I think the income source that you could get from it is really a lot. And for those of you who don't want to use social media or perform on gigs because you're too shy, this is a great way to do that. Also, if you are deciding to go down that route, I think registering your music with a performance rights organization would be a great idea so that you don't leave any money on the table. Passive income idea number two, selling digital products. Now inside of this category alone, there is a bunch of different options. So here's a list of all the ones that I could come up with. Ready? You could sell sample and preset packs, dot templates, ebooks, custom skins, midi packs, instrumentals, art covers, music sheets. You could even make your own plugin if you know how. My point here is that the limit is only your imagination. Look at me for example. I love everything about self-development, productivity, and I know a lot of people don't know how to stay organized or keep up. This is something that I love and I'm really good at, so I just decided to start selling my Notion content calendar templates so that it could help other people. I had not seen that being done anywhere else, but I figured that if it was a big help for me, it would probably be helpful for someone else. And whatever you decide to make and sell, it needs to solve a problem for someone else and add a lot of value for your potential customers. Depending on what you choose, digital products are relatively small products that aren't too hard or time consuming to set up. Now where it gets harder is to start selling it and marketing it. I would definitely use some type of social media posting or marketing ads or maybe start a newsletter or use other influencer review videos, but in the beginning, it is going to require a lot of time and effort. If you don't talk about it, people won't know that it exists, so you have to constantly find a way to always be in front of other people's eyes, and I think the best example that I have for you is Emeche. All he does is selling his sample and preset packs, and he only does that by using it in literally every single one of his YouTube videos. People get to learn and are entertained by his videos, and he advertises for free his products. It's perfect, and exactly what I would do if I would sell that kind of products. So in short, decide what you want to sell, produce it, and find a way to market it. Passive income idea number three, masterclasses and online courses. If you have a good knowledge about a very specific subject, you could teach other people how to do it. For example, like how to make music, how to make a specific style, or how to play drums, piano, guitar, really anything that you have knowledge on. This one is going to be very time consuming to create ahead of time and have a great product, but once you have it, you just have to focus on promotion and marketing and Depending on how you go about it, it might be easier. Platforms like Udemy or Skillshare will help you with that because 
the potential customers will be on that third-party platform without you having to advertise it. If I would have to do it, I would probably focus solely on creating the course as best as I can, probably disappear for a few months and then focus on promoting it through probably a mix of paid marketing campaigns and organic social media content to promote it to the right audience. The advantage here is that you don't really need a fan base to start, you just need a great product and great marketing. Additionally, those type of products will sell for a way higher price end, so it's also another advantage. Passive income idea number four, selling vocals. Close to the second one, but a bit different, there are many, many websites that allows you to sign up as a vocalist and sell your ready to use a capitalize for people to buy. I'm thinking about websites like Voclio or Vocalfy, for example. They do have some requirements to be accepted, which is normal, but if you decide to take some time to work on your vocal skills and apply, I think it is a great source of income as a capitalize is a great market at the moment with labels wanting more and more original songs. Just create a lot of them and then apply to those websites or sell them on your own. If you decide to sell them on your own, you will definitely need some type of marketing campaign or social media content to promote it to the right audience, but once you have the product done and it is on your website, you can sell it pretty much whenever because it'll always be there for potential customers to buy. By the way, if you didn't know, I am myself selling some of my royalty-free acapellas on my website, so if you want to check it out, you can check it with the link in the description. Passive income idea number five, selling your song projects and FLPs. It is something that I have never used, but I know a lot of my producer friends use it to learn from it. As it is usually less expensive than big online courses, a lot of bedroom producers are very interested in them. For this one, you will need to be more experimented and do really good quality music so people want to learn from you. Having your own artist style will also help you sell it as people would come to you to learn your style and how you make your specific sound, so it might take a little bit more time to set up, but I think it's a great source of income afterwards. To achieve it, just make a lot of music, release it and repeat until you grow a fan base that loves your music and your your specific sound. Then just start selling your projects for educational purposes or even for like a mini ghost production for other people to release it if you don't want to release that one. But at this point it shouldn't be too hard to maintain it as long as you keep showing up and keep talking about it on your social media. Passive income idea number six, affiliate marketing. This one is super easy to start but really really hard to get a good amount of money from it. If you don't know, affiliate marketing is basically you recommending a brand's product or service through your link and every time you drive a sell, you earn a commission from that at no extra cost for the customer. It's like a little referral bonus. Most of the brands have this type of program active and usually don't have any requirements to join it, but to make a lot of money from it, you really need a lot, and I mean a lot of traffic. Most of the time, people just forget to use your link and just Google it themselves, which makes it really tricky for us. But you know, if you really like a product or a brand, you can just recommend it to your producer friends or your audience if you have one and potentially make a couple hundreds per month. To set it up, I would recommend to pick just a few brands, like three or four, nothing more, and pick the ones that you really love genuinely and that you use yourself. Never ever ever recommend something that you wouldn't use yourself or that you don't like and then just apply to join their programs. After that, put the link literally everywhere that it can be seen. So your link in bio, your video descriptions, your Instagram post, your Discord server or an email newsletter if you have one, literally anywhere that it can be seen. Passive income idea number seven, Patreon. This is a membership platform where creators and artists can offer their Patreons exclusive content in exchange for a monthly subscription. Patreon can be a good option for us to offer behind the scenes content, early access to music. For example, Jacob Collier has one where every month he allows his Patreons to go into a Zoom meeting with him and spend some time with him. I also have one as well where you can vote for my next YouTube videos, get regular feedback, get behind the scenes content, access to all my royalty free vocals. The only limit here is your imagination to what you can offer to your community. Now before you can set up a Patreon, I'd say that you definitely need an audience that loves you, knows about you, feel connected to you and want more from you. Which can take time, so here I would do the exact same thing that I did, just start a social media your channel, grow your audience, and then start a Patreon. This option can also be a lot of maintenance depending on what you decide to offer, so make sure that whatever you decide to give them, you can deliver every month on it. Passive income idea number eight, selling merchandise. Selling merchandise such as t-shirts, hoodies, bags, or other items 
is a great source of passive income for producers and music artists. Once again, this one would require you to have a fan base, an audience that really loves you, but afterwards it is pretty easy and straightforward to set up and maintain. Websites like Printful and Shopify makes it really easy for you to design and sell your own merch. They literally take care of everything from order to shipment, add no upfront cost for you, it's called print on demand. You just have to create the original design and promote it on social media by wearing it. You can even link your Shopify store to your Spotify artist account, which is an amazing easy way to do it as well, and probably one that I will do very soon, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Not subtle at all. Spoiler! Passive income idea number nine, running a YouTube channel. This one is somewhat passive as it will require a lot of time and effort for a long period of time before it starts bringing you money on autopilot, but the limit as to how much you can get from your YouTube channel is, well, infinite and that is what is great about it. Having a YouTube channel can bring you money in very different ways. Playing ads before your videos, memberships, super thanks and super chats, sponsorships, affiliation. It is honestly by far one of the best ways for us artists and producers to make money these days. Now this subject only would require its own video masterclass which I did right there. But if the idea of starting your own YouTube channel has been in your head but you don't really know where to start, you feel intimidated by it, you can grab my master YouTube as a music artist ebook and it will take you there step by step. It contains eight phases with actionable steps at the end of each phase so that you can actually make progress while reading it. But these are just a few examples of passive income ideas that you could get as a producer and artist but there is more. And it is important to remember that it will take a lot of time and effort to set up at first but once you do it can provide you with a very steady stream of income which is really worth it. Just pick up a few that you like, set them up one by one, that's the secret. In the meantime, keep learning and I'll see you in the next one.